Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Beloved Masters, it is important for you to remember that service is an integral part of the ascension process. Many of you came to Earth from far distant star systems as cosmic messengers. Time and time again, you have been bearers of truth and cosmic wisdom, however, the task you agreed to for this lifetime is more important than any other you have ever experienced since you came into your individualized consciousness as an aware spark of divinity. Much of what you are learning as you traverse the path of ascension is a remembrance of what you already have experienced. We have stressed the fact that what we are asking of you, you have done many times before, so that it will not seem so unattainable. That is why so much of the history and the details of the past we relay to you seem so familiar. You now have greater and greater amounts of cosmic life force energy available to you, however, you are responsible for how you utilize that energy. You must stay firmly grounded upon the earth as you reach higher and higher into the refined dimensions of expression, and it is of vast importance to your physical well-being that you learn to balance and harmonize your energetic grid system called your auric field or Adam or Eve Cadman perfected body of light. You may draw forth as much of the essence of divinity as you can hold, however, after integrating that which you need personally, you must radiate forth the remainder out into the world of form. You cannot hoard God light, dear ones, it is meant to be used and shared for the benefit of all. Please be aware that there is limited access to the power and magical transformative properties of the violet flame within the push or pull duality of the third or lower fourth dimensional environment. However, when you attain a level of harmonious vibrational patterns that attune you to the mid fourth dimension, you gain access to the divine alchemy of the violet flame, and you also have the ability to draw forth the transforming adamantine particles of creator consciousness. While existing within the lower dimensions of limitation and chaos, it is almost impossible to consistently radiate unconditional love from your heart center. As you have learned, the creator particles of life must be activated via your altruistic, loving intention. Be aware, beloveds, that at each higher level of God light you attain, the power of the violet flame and the quantity of white fire particles of creation increase exponentially. There are two streams of collective consciousness thought forms surrounding the earth at this time, instead of one swirling maelstrom of negative thought patterns that has, up until now, made up the aura of the earth. The negative band of distorted energy is an accumulation of many thousands of years of fear, hate, selfing interests and actions. It has created the shadow side of the broad spectrum of light and shadow, the illusional world in which humanity has existed since the fall into what could be termed a semi-conscious state of awareness. Most of humanity has been caught up and stuck in a third or fourth dimensional form of mind control throughout their many lifetimes, for they have been ensnared in the beliefs of their forefathers, both racial, political, cultural and religious. Many dear souls have hardly ever had any original thoughts of their own. The negative mass consciousness belief system is all about doom and gloom, unworthiness, strict rules and dogma that discourages original, independent thinking, which has kept everyone in a state of guilt, fear and inertia. This has been called the herd state, wherein everyone looked to their religious and ruling leaders to tell them what to do, think and be. Every great religion began with inspired teachings from a great master who was given specific wisdom teachings to impart to humanity. They were overlighted by and under the direction of our father or mother God, and during their lifetime the concepts were adhered to and remained pure. However, upon the transition of the master, over time, the teachings became distorted and were changed to suit the selfish interests of those in charge. They veered from the inspired truth and wisdom teachings, which were designed for the particular era to assist the masses in developing a personal relationship with our Father or Mother God as they strove to attain a certain level of self-mastery and enlightenment. We have said before, you are very brave to step outside of the popular belief system, the collective consciousness of humanity, which has been a prison of sorts for so long. We know you have been criticized, scoffed at ostracized, and maligned in this and many other lifetimes, 
beloveds. However, we wish you to know that even though you may presently be in a minority, your numbers are growing by leaps and bounds. Many of what has been called New Age concepts are filtering into the minds and conversations of the masses, and the belief in angels and interaction with the beings of light from the higher realms is no longer totally discounted as it has been in the past. The good news is that there is a new band of higher frequency emotional patterns and thought forms circling the earth above the negative band. This band of energy is filled with light, hope and a strong desire for self-expression and mastery. Gradually, the crystalline grid system is encompassing the earth, and the creator consciousness band of light is growing stronger every day as more and more of you access the cities of light and become conveyors of the adamantine particles of creation. The masses are beginning to question their leaders and are holding them accountable for their actions. More and more people are beginning to question the dogmatic rules and restrictions of organized religion and are seeking their own higher truth by alternative means. We understand that a great majority of earthly souls are in the throes of pain, suffering and uncertainty. Unfortunately, those who are caught up in the collective consciousness belief system do not learn the lessons of turbulent times. They do not understand that the painful situations they are experiencing have been created by excessive and imbalanced thoughts and actions. The karmic laws of cause and effect are returning to the senders that which has been created much more quickly than in the past so that it can be rectified and requalified. For every soul on earth at this time, the most important life task is to strive to return to balance and harmony within both the inner and outer worlds of existence. Those of you who agreed to come into physical incarnation at this particular time brought with you the major lessons or imbalances in your physical or mental or emotional bodies that needed to be harmonized so that you could begin to work compatibly with your soul or higher self. You have come into this lifetime to balance your masculine and feminine natures, using the divine will, power and authority of the Father Creator, but also to integrate the love or wisdom, compassion, nurturing, creative aspects of the Mother Creator. You came to experience the earth and being fully in the physical body, while integrating spirit into your physical being and consciousness. You are here to balance knowledge and communications, to learn through intuition what your own truths are and to live those truths as an example for others, to learn the balance of communication skills, when to speak and when to hold your silence, to be non-judgmental, learning that each person is on their own individual path and have their own lessons to learn. For those of you who have listened to the whisperings of spirit and who have stepped onto the path of enlightenment, it is time for each of you to remember that the earth is not your home, you are on assignment here. You are from far distant star systems and galaxies and possibly even other universes. It is time for you and the many faithful warriors of peace or light to know how magnificent you are, and how brave you were to answer the clarion call to descend into the density of this earthly experiment. The events in your galaxy, solar system and on earth are quickly moving forward and great changes in the offing. Therefore, it is important that you focus on what is right in your world and not get caught up in all the negativity and fear that is spewing out into the ethers. Remember, you give energy to that on which you focus your attention. It is time for you to step fully into self-mastery and reclaim your divine birthright. What would you like to become? What would you like to do? You have the ability to become or create anything you can envision as long as it is in harmony with your divine blueprint. You have wondrous light packets of information stored within your sacred mind, just waiting to be called forth. As you build and perfect your pyramid of light in the fifth dimension, you will find that your creations will manifest more and more quickly. Teaching by example is one of the most effective ways to show others how to become masters of their own destiny. Always ask for the highest outcome and for the good of all you will not be led astray. We know it is not easy to step out of your comfort zone, for you have allowed others to make you doubt yourself and your abilities. We ask you to be a brave example to those around you, those who are stuck in cultural beliefs and limitations of the collective consciousness of humanity. Each of you has experienced life many times in either a male or a female body. You have also experienced the physical vessel in a great variety of races, 
forms and cultures. Beloveds, when you judge others, you are really only judging yourself, for you have experienced most all of the many facets of earthly existence. It is a great privilege to be allowed to incarnate on earth, and there has always been a list of millions upon millions of souls waiting to experience the physical reality that the earth has to offer. You are no exception, for you were anxious to experience earthly creation in as many ways and expressions as possible. Therefore, as the veil of illusion is gradually lifted, you will develop great understanding and compassion for those who are stuck in the pain and suffering of the third or fourth dimensional distorted reality. We are asking you to become a brave example for those around you. As you dare to step out and claim your mastery, others will follow your example. Many of you are experiencing a divine discontent, as well as dramatic life changes at this time. Things that used to bring you pleasure no longer satisfy, and you may have lost any common interest with many of your friends. This is because your soul self is nudging you to move forward, to expand your vision and to take control of your destiny. You must let go of preconceived ideas about the structure of your life. You must let go of beliefs that keep you stuck in a binding set of structural boundaries. Letting go gives you the power to expand your consciousness and your picture of reality. The higher your vibrational patterns become, the more fluid the time or space continuum, or the sequence and timing of events become. Structures become habits which bind you to the illusion of the third or fourth dimensions. Do not become attached to the structured life you have created. It is important that you are willing to change your life to include new concepts as you expand your vision and awareness of the potential of the future. Never forget, you are co-creators, either of pain, suffering and limitation, or of love, joy, peace and abundance. The choice is yours. It is not by coincidence that so many brave souls chose the seventh ray of transformation as their soul ray for this lifetime. See this blessed sacred fire blazing up and around you and radiating out in ever-widening circles as you join others in helping to lift the consciousness of humanity back into the frequencies of love or light. Remember, during these times when the evolution of the earth and humanity are being accelerated, you can make a difference. We are aware that many of you are disturbed by all the negativity and injustice around you. However, deep within, you know that the great changes taking place will eventually be for the betterment of all. Be assured that you can be an instrument for change. Allow us to send forth the love of our Father or Mother God to and through you, filling you to overflowing. Dear ones, your radiance and love or light, added to that of other light warriors, will assist humanity and the earth to move gracefully into the wondrous new age of tomorrow. Know that you are dearly loved and you are under my protection. I am Archangel Michael.